Hello, uh, Peter Bond from the Brass Bunker with uh, episode number three or uh, exercise number three of my uh, morning routine. This is one of the most important uh, or uh, most valuable uh, exercises. And there's a little story behind this. Um, so it's um, for better or for worse, I grew up playing in drum and bugle corps, junior drum and bugle corps, late 60s into the mid 70s. And um, I had a good time and whatever uh i left in the mid 70s and uh years later 20 years later i find myself at the metropolitan opera and i reconnected with some of my old friends who are now running the group um and so i agreed to come back and you know coach the uh uh the uh, upper uh brass players they were called soprano bugles at the time now they would be trumpets and so we had as, as some of you may know, they have they usually meet monthly throughout the winter and have these little camps and get-togethers. Um, and so I was teaching these, uh, meeting and teaching these uh, players. And the talent level was from okay to really horrible. Um, or I should say, they're, not their talent level, but their level of accomplishment at the time. And so I, I, I needed to, I put together a package of exercises for them to practice at home and I made a play along cassette tape that was where I was at or on a click track so I um, I wrote I made some exercises kind of patronizingly myself the you know the great you know professional trumpet player will now dictate to you uh, uh, pass on my great wisdom which was all well and good until I went to record these things and I had a devil of a time recording them to my own satisfaction, particularly this one, uh, which uh, was a very, um, which was a good lesson for me, uh, which meant, A, I wasn't such a big deal. B, I need to practice this stuff just like everybody else. And, and we all do. And we tend to, uh, uh, we, we reach a certain level and sometimes we kind of, we tend to neglect the fundamentals. So anyway, this has been very valuable for me. And uh, it really helped my uh, playing uh, and those and that of my students. So the exercises I've called it a couple different things. Sometimes rhythmic articulation depends on what incarnation is. It's a very easy pattern, and it's designed for a Simon Says you know kind of situation, which is what this is. Um, so I play patterns in eighth notes. Triplets, sixteenth notes, rest, bump up the um, metronome four clicks, change pitch, do the same thing, and bumping up the metronome four clicks every time. Starts on low C at eighty. I think that's eighty. <laughs> Ready? Go. Okay, I've bumped up the metronome. So I'm playing in a fairly detached style. Um, that can be changed. You can, you know, play any style you want. But beginning to begin with, a detached, buoyant style, and I want as colorful a tone. I want, I want it as if there were musical notes and had words rather than just noises. Okay, and that's that's part of the challenge. Ready? Go. Uh, 
And these are always challenging for me to play, so some of these won't be perfect. You play them better than I did, okay? Make it a challenge. B flat. <laughs> One thing to keep in mind is that the short notes will always phrase forward, okay? D da 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 D da 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 um, So if you play these too robotically, it won't make any sense. I mean, they'll, it'll be like mathematically correct, but musically crazy. Da 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 You sound like some kind of, you know, a robot. So um, uh, even as, as rigidly as I, we, we want to adhere uh, to the... Um, be rhythmically correct, and in time, uh, we can still think of them musically. Uh, I think I'm on A, uh, A flat now. Ready? Go. Ready? Go.
Another variation you can do is to uh, uh, do these at, the, at, at these tempi, like I just did, but multiple tongue everything. Okay, right now I'm single tonguing. Ready? Go. Ready? Go. So those last two, I didn't sound particularly good. Uh, on my own, if I weren't doing this video thing, I'd probably go back and work on those a little bit, okay? Um, but anyway, I'm going to move forward. Now, the next, uh, what I do next is I bump it up uh, four more clicks. And I would move to C sharp and ascend um, to uh, C in the staff. It would put me around 132 or 136 or something. But anyway, at this point, um, I stop and I'll do a contrasting study. It might be a Clark um, uh, chromatic thing or some kind of uh, a lyrical study. In fact, maybe I'll do it right now. Um, I do a little, my own takeoff on the um, uh, Chickowitz flow studies. I didn't want to do it exactly like this. So, um, I just made it a whole step and it's a minor pentatonic pattern. I want to go slower. Slower still. these out by ear. It's good practice. as much as I play.
and back to the articulation pattern. I'm on C sharp. Ready? I dialed down the um I dialed down my tempo, didn't I? Um Sorry about that. The digital screen is hard for me to see. C sharp. Okay, and at these fast tempi, I've never had a particularly fast single tongue, uh, but I, I do try to push the envelope. As the tempi get faster, maybe I won't go four clicks. Maybe I'll advance two clicks um, and make you know make it a little more gradual. Two clicks, and I like to say I th I'll talk about articulation in another video. I mean the method of, but I like to say if you can say it, you can play it. Da 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 da. Da, 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 da. If I can speak it, pardon me, I should be able to um, play it. And if I can't play it, it means somehow I'm departing. Um, my technique is uh, on the trumpet is a little different than from speech. And, and I'm probably doing something unnecessary, usually tension related. Um, so uh, for these things, it really feels as though I'm talking on the trumpet as opposed to tonguing and blowing. I know that departs a little bit from... Uh, a lot of standard pedagogy. So I'll play one more, but you get the principle. Ready? And.
Okay, we can call it there. The tongue is a muscle, and it needs exercise, and it also needs rest. So you need to exercise for speed, you know, and develop it gradually, and also uh, rest. So, if you, for instance, if you have a really, really long articulated thing, practice it in short segments, okay, and maybe add a piece, because there's an endurance factor. Not here, but for that guy. All right, ta-ta for now.